there is PHP 5.6 and there is PHP 7. We don't really talk about what happened in between. Backward <laughs> compatibility. <laughs> what happened with between? Like, do you guys know what is the reason why we don't have PHP 6? I have literally no idea. Like we had PHP 5, right? And then we have PHP 7. But do you guys know what happened with PHP 6? I know like everyone makes fun of it because it was literally a version that didn't actually came out. But do you guys know why we don't have PHP 6? Does anyone knows that? I have literally no idea. Okay, this website is from Matthias Guignard. For those active in the PHP community for a while, it's not exactly a secret, but the but the outside world may seem odd that the PHP version numbers jump from 5 straight to 7 without the magical number 6. Why there is no PHP 6? The main reason for not having PHP 6 um, version is in fact well-intended cover-up. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. There have been attempts of making PHP 6 uh, release in early 2005. Oh, really? Was that long time ago? Because PHP 7 came in 2015, I think? Or <laughs> Dripping Castle is saying the PHP version 6 is like the floor 13 for the elevators. Oh my god. Wait a second, T Tuak is saying, I remember a PHP 6 book? What do you mean? But there is no PHP 6. Um, so apparently it was like a cover up. Let's try to understand why. There have been many attempts of, at making PHP 6 release as early as 2005, which would feature UTF-8 UTF Unicode support. Hey community, just a quick stop, just to explain you what this Unicode support was about. So basically the PHP 6 project wanted to eliminate the need for you to call functions like MB underscore string length or MB underscore string to upper. And they wanted to basically make PHP internally Unicode aware. So you would basically just call string to length normally and you would never have to actually use the MB underscore uh, prefix. But after months and years of development, they actually noticed that the trade-offs in performance were unacceptable. And on top of that, they could be breaking existing code that is relying on existing functions like string length or string to upper. So as a result, the development was slowed down and eventually it stalled completely. And the worst about this is that because of the development taking so long between 2005 and 2010, most of the community actually thought that PHP 6 was supposed to be only about this Unicode support. So the PHP internal team didn't want to take any risks and wanted to make clear that PHP was getting a new version, which is PHP 7, but it's not about the things that were promised in PHP 6, which is this Unicode native support. So as the time went on, it gave the PHP 6 release a bad name. It is the version that went in development forever, but never got released. In that regard, similar to EPV5, the missing version between now the popular EPV4 and the new EPV6 internet protocol. Interesting. So as with anything in PHP, there was a vote. Should the PHP 6 name be kept even though it has a bad reputation name? And the answer finally came in the form of no, let's just rename this to PHP 7. So apparently the reason why PHP 6 never came out is because it was literally being developing for so many months to the point that got some sort of bad reputation about it. And people just said, okay, that's it. Let's just not call this PHP 6 because of the bad rap it has. Let's call this PHP 7. The main arguments were, first and foremost, PHP 6 had already existed. It was something completely different. While it's true that PHP 6 never reached GA, it's still a very widely published, well-known project conducted by PHP.net that will share absolutely nothing with the version <laughs> under this discussion right now. Anybody who would know what PHP 6 is will have a strong misconception in his mind to the contents and features of this upcoming version, which essentially was just literally about Unicode. Oh, so then the contents of PHP 6 went to PHP 5.3. So in fact, many believe, myself included, that PHP 5.3 release should have been the PHP 6 release. It introduced a lot of changes and quite a few backwards compatibility changes. 
Since a lot of the debate was already going on PHP 6, it had over 5 years of speculation since it started in 2005 and it was abandoned in 2010, PHP 6 was referenced in quite a lot of places already. So I feel like the real reason why PHP 6 never actually came as a real thing was because training for so many times the development where PHP 7 was kind of the opposite of it, which had like a clear timeline of things and it was really looking good. Yeah, so apparently it was that. PHP 6 was a version that was kind of under development between 2005 and 2010 and because of the development being open for so long got bad reputation and people didn't want to associate like a new version with that bad reputation so they just skipped the version php 6 and they went straight to php 7 which you know probably was a good idea to be honest and let's real check real quick this prof oh my god Professional PHP 6, which was written in 2009. <laughs> Publishing a Tethan with a long-awaited release of PHP 6, this book reveals the inside scoop for pushing the limits of how maximize the full feature set of PHP 6. You will learn how to use PHP 6 in a larger scheme or enterprise class software development in practical examples and behind the scenes information which will improve your skills for designing and building large scale web performant, highly performant platforms using PHP 6. Oh my god, man. So this book was published in 2009 and in 2010 there was still no PHP 6 version out. But it could have literally changed the title at the end for PHP 5 or whatever. So confused. Or not even putting PHP at all, like just putting PHP without the version number. That probably have been better, right?